Hi, my name is Ryan, and today at Scottsdale RV, we're proud to present to you a 2005 Itasca Verizon Model 40 FD. Uh, this coach has a 400 horsepower Cummins engine in it. It's on the Freightliner Evolution chassis, which is a great chassis. It's got independent front suspension, uh, drives like a dream. We're going to start right at the back corner here. We've got the, the True Air residential AC system on this coach. Very efficient system. Instead of having two ACs up on the roof, you actually got ACs down here. Uh, they're out of the heat from the roof. It lowers your center of gravity. A really, really excellent system. Right in front of that, we have the two chassis batteries on a pull-out tray, as well as four deep cycle six volt batteries on a pull-out tray as well. Those are brand new. We've got your Michelin 275 80 22 and a half inch tires on Alcoa rims, a 10 gallon gas electric water heater, and a dirt devil central vacuum system in this coach. The baggage changed right here, and obviously, the central vacuum system operates inside the coach. You've got a switch right here for your power patio awning. You can just open and close it with this switch right here. also open and close it inside the coach as well. Stop there. You've got a pull-out tray right here. Right here you've got outside TV ready. You've got a DVD player right here, AM, FM, radio. Two speakers right there. You've got a fuel fill here. Right here you've got uh, your combo to get in, power door locks. We've got a power door awning. The switch right there is right inside the coach. We'll go over that when we go inside the coach. If we go around to the front of the coach, we've got power heated mirrors. You've got the 3M film on the whole front of the coach to protect from rock chips. Onan 7500 watt quiet diesel generator on a slide out tray. We've got a bunch of resettable fuses right here for the chassis. Side as well, so fuel fill on both sides of the coach. Very nice feature. You've got your rear ladder extension right here, lug wrenches for your tires, a little bit extra storage, window awning here, window awning on the other side of the coach as well. Four slide awnings. Right here, you've got a power hose reel. We also fill your water out here, outside shower. Obviously, your sewer dumps, your black tank flush. As you move to the rear of the coach, You've got a power cable reel for your 50 amp power cord. A 2000 watt dimensions inverter charger. Also got some fuses and relays right there. Side radiator. Furnace exhaust right here. We go to the back of the coach. You got your Cummins ISL 400 horsepower motor back here. Engine oil fill, engine oil dipstick, transmission oil, all that good stuff's back here. Air filters down here. Well, that wraps up the outside here. Let's head on inside. Welcome to the inside of the coach. Uh, this has a very unique floor plan, one of my favorite floor plans out on the market right now. We're gonna start right down here by the pilot area. You've got your adjustable pedal switch right here, which brings your uh, accelerator and brake pedal in or out, depending where you wanna go with them. You've got your passenger and driver sun visor up and down. You've got your heated mirror switch right here. Power mirror controls, left and right. Your Allison six-speed transmission shifter right there. As we move up front here, you've got your engine brake. It's actually a two-stage engine brake, so you got low and high. Your battery boost, which creates jumper cables essentially between your two sets of batteries, house and chassis. Defrost fan, low and high speed, air horn. Fog light, docking lamps. Step cover switch, that's for the passenger. You got your headlight switches right here. Your tilt in your cruise is actually, or your tilt and your telescopic is on a foot pedal down in the, by the floor there. You've got your turn signals here. You've got smart wheel controls right here, windshield wiper control. You've got a remote for the dash radio. Your Sony color monitor right there. Dash radio. Generator start and stop switch. Speaker switch. This operates the speakers either on the dash radio or your TV surround sound system. Your radio power switch. Switches from running your dash radio on your house batteries or your engine batteries and you've got a power door lock switch here. If we open this guy right here, you've got your HWH leveling system right there, and you've got your slide out room controls right there. 
On my right hand side, you've got your 32 inch LCD TV. Your surround sound system is in those cabinets as well. This is one of the main reasons why I love this floor pan so much. Instead of having the TV up above the driver's area, you've got it here. It feels a lot more like home. On my left hand side, you've got a full pull out high to bed couch, leather couch right here. You've got your dinette area right here, also kind of doubles as a computer area. The kitchen features a pull out shelf right here, Corian countertops, convection microwave. You've got your removable burner covers right here. It's actually got a, a dishwasher underneath here. We can pull this guy open, just like that. You've got your removable sink covers right here, your pull-out faucet, and your purified water dispenser. You've got your Norcold four-door fridge with a built-in ice maker, stainless steel finish. You've got pull-out pantries right here, just like that, down there as well. Your central vacuum hookup is down here. The hoses and everything are kept under the bed in the rear. You have a privacy door right here opens and closes. You've got your True Air residential heating and air conditioning system right here. So this controls your heating and your AC. You've got your water heater, 110 volt switch right here. Propane valve, turn that on and off. Engine heater, a water pump switch. Start and stop the generator from here as well. You've got gas water heater operation there. Your EMS system here, we've got 50 amps coming in. House battery and engine battery shows you your levels they're at right now. Black water, gray water, fresh water, LP gas. Push each individual one to see where you're at. You're, we're full on our fresh water. You've got your furnace operation right here. Right here's your inverter charger panel. You just hit this button right here to start inverting. You've got a glass shower enclosure right here. There's a skylight above. You've got your bathroom vanity right here. Corian countertops here as well medicine cabinets. Behind us here, you've got your private water closet. You've got beautiful sliding doors right here, privacy doors for the bedroom area. Come back here. You've got another little vanity area in the bathroom, in the bedroom area. This flips down, obviously, if you're not using the mirror. You've got a bedroom TV. It's a washer dryer ready, so this is where your washer dryer would go if you want one. If not, plenty of storage here as well as above. Closet doors, plenty of storage in the cedar line closet back here. There's a little bit of storage underneath the bed. And all your breakers and fuses are located right down here in a panel right here. Well that wraps up the inside, thank you for viewing our video and we hope to hear from you soon.